An open airway is essential for every patient. You may be called upon to open the airway of a patient who cannot maintain his or her own airway. These will be patients who have an altered level of consciousness, such as a seizure or stroke patient, or someone in cardiac or respiratory arrest. The airway in these patients is usually partially obstructed by the tongue due to loss of muscle tone. An obstructed airway due to the tongue, food, or other foreign object prevents air from reaching the lungs and can ultimately lead to the patient's death. An open airway is essential to the care and survivability of the patient. There are two common techniques used to open the airway known as the head tilt chin lift for medical patients and the jaw thrust for trauma patients. The jaw thrust technique is used to open the airway of an altered or unconscious patient with obvious or suspected trauma. Any patient who presents with an altered level of consciousness or is found unresponsive on the ground without an explanation is presumed to have a head, neck, or spinal injury and must have their spine protected. While opening the airway is essential, it is not more important than protecting the spine. Both elements of the patient's care are of high priority and therefore, we accomplish each element with the jaw thrust maneuver. The jaw thrust maneuver is the only procedure used by EMTs to open the airway with little to no movement of the head or neck. This is accomplished by lifting the jaw, which brings the tongue forward off the posterior hypopharynx without manipulating the spine. This procedure can be accomplished with just your hands. However, since you will be working with the airway, you should also have gloves on those hands, Plus, consider using goggles and a mask to prevent being splashed or sprayed by airway or gastric secretions. When you perform the jaw thrust maneuver, take these steps starting with BSI precautions. It is easiest to maintain the jaw thrust maneuver when the patient is in the supine position. Position yourself at the top of the patient's head. However, you may also have to open the airway of a patient who presents in a vehicle after a crash. Position yourself behind the head of a seated patient if possible. Once in position and without moving the patient's head and neck, carefully place one hand on either side of the patient's head near the orbits. Place your thumbs just inferior to the eyes and lateral to the nose. Using your remaining four fingers, place them at the angle of the jaw below the ears. Without moving the head and neck, using your index and middle fingers, push the jaw forward. Jut the jaw out and forward as if creating an exaggerated underbite. Do not manipulate or rotate the head in any way. Assess for breathing and ventilate or apply oxygen as needed. Constantly monitor for changes in the patient's status. If no gag reflex is present, consider insertion of an oropharyngeal airway.